previously on Mountain Beaches. Kissing at Inspiration Point, that's a must. <laughs> Do I look awake? That's a lot of antlers. <laughs> I'm easy enough to put on as well. Just undo the clip from the deering. Made it to Hidden Falls. Yes, we did. We thought the last one was the Hidden Falls, <laughs> but guess not. <laughs> so gorgeous. I am just really impressed with the quality of the facilities here at Teton National Park. We just made it to Inspiration Point. And if we can do it, you can do it. Okay, we have a boondocking spot. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> now we're recording. <laughs> Sometimes it helps to push that little record button first. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> uh, we all make that mistake. <laughs> all YouTubers make that mistake. <laughs> But man, if you could have heard what we had for you uh, while we were well, not, we were just holding the camera pretending. So do we have a place to stay tonight? We do. <laughs> Yumi and the RV recommended the Medicine Lodge Archaeological State Park in right, Wyoming. Right, but I checked last night and it's full. But it's not because I made a phone call. It's well, important. You got special powers. <laughs> the power of the female. <laughs> no, it's not the power of the female. It's the power of picking up the phone and talking to a real life person yeah, on the other side. I don't like to talk on the phone. <laughs> He's bad. So anyway, I called. Denise answered and she was so helpful. They don't have a single site available, but they do have their group campsite available that they're renting out as singles right now. Oh. Does that make sense? Yeah. So right now there are two other rigs in that group campground and they've put us on their list to occupy one more site and Norm's looking at this beautiful. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> hey, you gotta take in the journey and not just worry about the destination. Yesterday, this is there was sun beautiful. And there was rain, beauty in the mountains. Right along the Wind River here in Wyoming. And as the light startled our eyes, we let go. So we have a couple hour drive. We've got two nights held for us, and we're going to see where we go from there. Oh, that sounds perfect. Good job. High five. That's a that's a, that's a that's a pathetic high five. Well, I can't. You do it. <laughs> that's pathetic. Well, I can't look at you. I'm driving. <laughs> and I can't look at you. I'm videoing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more. There we go. Easy, easy on our tiptoe. Beautiful fall day. It Wh is. Where are we camping at? It's got a long name. The, the Medicine Lodge Archaeological State Park. There you go. In Wyoming. <laughs> In Wyoming. <laughs> Say that fast five times. Yeah. But this is just an absolutely amazing state park. I don't know that I've ever seen a state park that is so well maintained and just so fantastic. It's, it's fantastic. The sites are all really far spread apart and they were so accommodating for us. <laughs> yeah, they really were. <laughs> they Put didn't it. have any vacancy. <laughs> Put us in the group site and it's probably one of the best sites in, in the, the little part of the group site that we're in is the best site in the whole campground. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it. <laughs> so we're going over to uh, see some petroglyphs. They've we've got uh, petroglyphs here, so we're going to check those out. Restoring.
All right, this bridge reminds me of the bridge, kind of, at the Japanese tea gardens in San Francisco. <laughs> it goes up and... <laughs> Maybe not exactly. <laughs> Got some cabins over here. This one is the Natural History Cabin. And social distancing, one family at a time. edge of the Bighorn Basin, at the foot of the hills of the Bighorn Mountains. They've done such a good job in all their displays. Just, it's just so well done. All right, that one was awesome. Let's go take a look at the elk management. Oh, it's nope, closed. this one's closed. Elk management cabin. So what did this cab, uh, campsite cost us? It was $16 a day. That's not bad. No hookups, but they do have water available here. No dump that I've seen. But and it's $8 a day for residents. graffiti here and there but they've got it really well marked so you just walk down and they have this rock art trail pamphlet and so we'll just walk down and see what we're supposed to see so we've seen petroglyphs now but here we've seen them in arches national park and where else someplace else we've seen them we'll have to get back to you on yeah. that <laughs> I remember there's one other spot we've seen them. The ones at uh, Arches National Park were awesome and, and so recognizable and easy to... Oh, at City of Rocks. Yes. But well, at Arches... Well, those weren't really petroglyphs. Those were more from the pioneers. Right. Yeah. But when we were at Arches, we were taken on a tour and the tour guide brought us to places that maybe you wouldn't see if you were just going on your own. And so I felt like we got a, we a went special. Off, we went off grid. <laughs> I'm not naming him. <laughs> it was an awesome tour. So evidently that's what we're supposed to be seeing here, but you tell me, do you see it? <laughs> I don't. I see something I uh, can't tell in the camera right in here but that's not one of the ones you finding these 
I'm finding a few of the really obvious ones, <laughs> especially after you point them out. But some of them are really hard to tell. You wouldn't really know unless you knew. Yeah. Let's see if I can point one out here. Up the top of this crack, just to the right of it, is a warrior with a shield. And then a little bit to the further, to the right, is another warrior with a shield. So that one's straight ahead. That one, that looks like the Easter Bunny. So Kim found us a hike to go on. It's called the Bear Trail. <laughs> the Bear Trail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do, we, do you have your bear spray? No. You, it's in the trailer as usual. <laughs> Well, we'll see if we get back to the trailer alive. Standing underneath the lights. Looking going to the little bear den. There it is. Tired little bear den. Coming down. Collapse into water when they hit. So far, so good. No bears. Yesterday has gone to sleep. So all that's left is you and me. I can promise you're the only thing I see. Hold my hand and hear the words I say. Close your eyes and let us fade away. For you and me Let our minds be caught up in a dream Don't see these very often Come for dinner Now This <laughs> is For a big family It's so heavy I can't lift it up for a big family Try reunion. Again. Oh, this is for a big family Ooh. reunion. <laughs> wow. Well, that would be some serious barbecuing. That's substantial. That's just one half of it. Donated by this family in 2008, Tim and Pearl Graham. We got some horseshoe pits over here. This is the group camp area, and we're staying over on the other side of it, but there, on this half there were, what, maybe four? Three or four, yep. Three or four rigs camping in this part. You can see us over on the other side of the bathrooms. So nice. Yes. Such a great find, and thanks again, Phil and Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> you, me, and the RV, they're the bomb.